Okay, so pedals we checked, rotor brake is disengaged, uh, circuit breakers are all in, landing light is off, avionics are all off, clutch is disengaged, altimeter will set shortly, and then uh, hydraulic is on and governor is on. I know where it is coming from. So throttle closed. All right. Guys, firing up. Yeah. Cool. So, like, we don't have a turbine engine. What's that sound? Right. It's a master stroke. To the right. Alrighty. Now let's try no prime on this. No prime? Yeah. Alright. We'll just go to both and then full. Uh, Let's leave it lean and then just do the normal start. So crank it and then when it starts to sound like it catches, go. Remain east of the three crosses below 1500 feet, till clear of Delta airspace. Runway 2 8 right, clear for takeoff. 2 8 right, clear for takeoff, below 1500 and east of three crosses, minus 70. Alrighty, check, check. Alright, burn that up just a little bit for us. Can everybody hear us back there? Okay, that's good. So, the microphone's got to be real close to your mouth. There we go, now try. Drop our sprag clutch. 
They can take the frictions off, roll it up, test the horn, and test yeah. the uh, hydraulics. All right, uh, that's about green, huh? Yeah, that's good. All right, so... Dr. 225, traffic heading your right, uh, about three miles uh, inbound for Hayward's and Barron, right. 1,300 so feet from Oakland. Contact video. Oakland Tower on 118.3. 75%. All right, look for that traffic. Contact the Oakland Tower, Boxer 225, thanks. Hold zero zero Quebec traffic, uh, two o'clock and two and a half miles off the direction, 1,200. Hold up. Roger, traffic. Hold up, Maintain visual separation. Additional traffic right. inbound from Oakland, 1,300, about two miles northwest of the airports of Barron at 1,300 feet. Okay, that's good. Uh, Roger, looking for the Barron. Uh, I see a plane going northbound, but that's not it. We'll keep eyes out. Okay. Right, Magneto. Uh, okay, it's gone down, not much. Hayward Tower, hello again. Baron right, 77 Julie Bravo, one up towards 80. Yeah. Baron 77 Julie Bravo, Hayward Tower, right traffic, runway 28 right. And traffic ahead and your left, uh, two and a half miles southwest bound at right. 1300 feet. So we the the we checked the map chart, so. Okay, we're looking for that traffic. Uh, roll, roll it up, up port friction. Left. Friction's off, roll it up, we hydraulics. Actually, no, we, uh, yeah, we checked the hydraulic down. before the governor, huh? Uh, yeah, zero zero okay. just a left turn, 20 degrees so southbound for traffic. Yeah, off, but traffic now like about that uh, 3 o'clock, 2 miles. Okay. Uh, right traffic, 4 to 8 left. Off, the otherwise, turn. you're not going to know for sure if they've come back on. November 7, Julie Bravo, change runway 28 left, runway 28 left, clear to land, traffic will be no factor. Okay, 28 left, clear to land. That's It's right about here, so hydraulic top. Sky 7, landing with Zulu. Oh yeah, it's hard. Sky 7, here we make left traffic for Alpha. Driving back to really just have so you can see it moving. You don't have to do a whole bunch. Yeah, and then put it on, and yeah, it's better. Okay, so I forgot to start our timer. Uh, let me put this way. So let's get up. our landing light on. So we're going to be around airports today. Okay, so we need to make a left turn so to uh, join the one now. Side so yeah. where is the car? Okay, cool. So friction is off. All right, roll it up and check the RPM horn. Number zero zero back frequency change approved. Sure, thanks for your help. Is it giving? All right, so roll it down a little. There we go. All right, cool, so lights are out, gauges are green. All right, I'll give them a call. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 63, Bravo Kilos, I'm ready with Zulu, we'd like a right cross on departure. Should I start picking up? November 63, Bravo Kilo, hey, we're Tower Red Cross, when approved, make your right turn over the golf course. Next way, Zulu, clear for takeoff. I got a 63, Bravo Kilo, right turn over the golf course, and Zulu uh, being Meridian, clear for takeoff. All right. Sky 7 requests early turn on the other side of Meridian. Sky 7 approved as requested, and taxiway Alpha, Hangar 3, clear to land. Clear to land, taxiway Alpha, Sky 7. Baron 7, Julie Bravo, cross runway 28 right, and safe parking. And we're pretty okay, close to Max Cross, right. so we're going to be we're like 22, 23, right 24 to inches coming off the ground, probably. Baron 7, Julie Bravo, Roger, hold short of Alpha for arriving traffic. Okay, hold short of Alpha, so give us up. Hayward Tower, helicopter 6133, Charlie, 7 miles south, inbound for Meridian, Missoula. November 6133, Charlie, Hayward Tower, left base for Texway, Zulu. Uh, yeah. Left base for Zulu, Charlie. All right. Lights out, gauge is green, feels good. See how big of a difference it is when you're yeah. up at Max Cross. Cool, so ready to roll? Yep. Baron 7, Julie Bravo, taxi to parking via Alpha on this frequency. Alpha on this frequency, good night, sir. 7, Julie Bravo. Alright, he wants our crosswind over the golf course. Alright. <laughs> you guys, just to the left here is where that happened. Just that down there. Flat spot on the grass. Yeah, right I can't see Charlie. All right, it's over the golf course. Yeah, we can go ahead and crank it. 
a dar vueltas y a, a dar vueltas y a He didn't tell us to remain east of three crosses and all that jazz, but we'll just shoot for it anyways. Yeah. We'll go heading 040 and uh, we'll climb to 3000 to start. Okay. Okay, my controls. Your controls. I got them. Foggle time already, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Now that we're not dodging out from underneath clouds, we can. Helicopter 33 Charlie, taxiway Zulu, clear to land. Clear to land, Zulu, 33 Charlie. You got him. Okay, so we'll just climb this heading and uh, 60 knots is good and 23 inches is fine. All right. So we're going to keep continuous scan, looking at everything. And that traffic is really working today. That's nice. Yeah, wow. Oh, we're missing something here. Oh, uh, should be climbing more. Uh, it's not really what I'm worried about. Uh, maybe a little bit of shuttle tram. Uh, oh, our heading. Ah, uh, there it is. All right. Actually, let's uh, let's keep it at 1,000 feet for now until we get out of the uh, okay. delta here. Actually, let me call. Hey, Rital, I got a 60 Bravo Kilo. Uh, do you want us outside of the Charlie for now, or uh, can we climb up to 3,000? Yeah, number three Bravo Kilo, remain outside of uh, Charlie airspace until clear of the Delta, and um, did you want a flight following code? Uh, 6 Street Railway Kilo outside of the Charlie and negative, we're just going to be out maneuvering around. Yeah, we'll keep 1,000 for now. Okay. And uh, when, when we're level off, I always want to be at 90 knots. That's going to be our target airspeed. So here at 1,000 feet, we can pull in. It'll probably be like 22 inches to get us to 90 knots because we're we got a lot of drag on this helicopter, and we've got a lot of people in here right now. Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and raise that collective back up to whatever power gets us 90 knots. You know, if we're at 24 inches getting 90 knots, then we'll reconsider. But okay. So you want 90 knots now? Yeah. Hey, one power, good afternoon, Skywalk. Uh, four, oh, four, six, four, 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 uh, at uh, 1,200 uh, 1, feet uh, in Remember, when we raise the collective, our nose will naturally come up, so we have to counter that with a little bit more for uh, recycling. Yeah. Approaching uh, Coyote, Coyote Hill. Really nice. System 446, Echo Romeo here, turn her left base, runway 28 left. Turning left, uh, left base, 28 uh, left, uh, 6 Echo Romeo. These goggles are like bouncing a bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's get our heading back here, and we got a descent. Helicopter three Bravo Kilo frequency change approved. Six three Bravo Kilo, see you. And we want our climb back. Wait. <laughs> yeah, and we can start climbing back up to three thousand now, and we'll just go for sixty knots in the climb. Okay. Once we get up there, then we'll have a little more freedom to bounce around. Zero, runway 25 left, clear for the option, wind 2809er. Clear for the option, 25 left, one echo zero. So now when we want to one, three, go for 60 knots, number one, runway let's, uh, right. first we have to kind of Front find it. Talk. And once you find one, it, two, five, right. note where your attitude indicator is, uh -huh. and that'll kind of help you. Anytime you need to get like a 60 knot climb or something like that, if you put that attitude indicator back in that same spot, that's the six mile get us okay, pretty close to the uh, 60 knot six airspeed. Six mile yeah. travel, remain this frequency, northwest parking, taxi via Julia. Have a good day. So what do you want for altitude? Uh, all the way to 3,000, our uh, uh, altitude. You already set it? Maybe I'll make sure it's set. So altitude, oh, it's I set. already set it for okay. you. Sit back on course over here. Tower Alligator 63 Bravo Kilo is 900 miles to the west, 2,000 feet, climbing length of transition uh, northeast bound. 
Aircraft to the west, Livermore Tower, say call sign. That's helicopter 63, Bravo Kilo. Helicopter 63, Bravo Kilo, Livermore Tower, transition approved, Livermore Altimeters, a 2986. 2986, transition approved, 63, Bravo Kilo, thanks. I got a pretty good tailwind right here. Yeah, and this isn't super accurate because this is not perfectly accurate. But we do have a good tailwind. All right, helicopter 63 Bravo Kilo, uh, turn right heading 060. Right heading 060, 63 yeah. Bravo Kilo. Yeah, and remember if there's nothing sitting right there, then you don't have to hit the heading button. It'll automatically default to heading. Which doesn't seem like a big deal right now, but when you know you get nine different instructions, all at once. Every little bit helps. Yeah. Helicopter 3 Bravo Kilo. Traffic one mile final. Cessna will be a climbing right turn heading towards Los Vaqueros Altam intersection. Helicopter 63 Bravo Kilo will be looking. Yeah, so we'll just find our 60 knot attitude again. Right about here, maybe a little bit forward. Yeah, it looks so right kind of right, yeah, right on that line. So pretty much skids level out to get us there. there and when go. it comes time to level out, we've already got enough power in. Yeah. So we'll just nose forward, I don't know, maybe five degrees, two, somewhere between two and a half that's and five. That's the one three Foxtrot, verify so you do have the airport side. That's ten, middle one is south of five. five. A firm, we're correct. A really small one, they're two and a half. That's one three Foxtra, Roger. And traffic seven miles west of the airport, two thousand nine hundred indicated eastbound That's helicopter. Us. Roger, we look at that. Traffic right, one three Foxtra. Give it a little bit of nose forward. Yeah, we can wait a little bit. We're only at three hundred foot minute climb, so we can wait till about thirty feet. So now we'll just nose forward a little bit, see if we can find 90 knots. How am I doing, guys? Oh, fantastic. Perfect. <laughs> Are they white knuckles back there? <laughs> That's what I can tell. <laughs> now, if I were to put the foggles on, too, that might be a different story. Yeah. <laughs> Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> A uh, fun, fun party trick is blindfold yourself and try to fly by what the aircraft sounds like it's doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a Yoda thing. One hour, nine or seven, one, three, fuck, uh, yeah, get this. Oh, the aircraft not. Think with your mind. <laughs> <laughs> The one three Foxtrot executed oh, the traffic. Turn, uh, right heading north to the airport. Three thousand one right heading zero eight zero. Looking for traffic. One three Foxtrot. That's the one Echo Zero runway two five left. Clear for the option. Wind the two seven zero eight. Clear for the option. Two five left. One Echo Zero. Good evening, uh, Livermore Tower, Skyhawk 5203 Hotel, uh, runway 25 right, request uh, right down with departure. Cessna 5203 Hotel, Livermore Tower, wind 270 at 9 or runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, right down with departure approved. Clear for takeoff, runway 25 right, right down with departure approved, uh, 5203 Hotel. Cessna 13 Foxtrot, execute publish miss procedures, the helicopter is now three miles northwest of the airport, 3,100 indicated, contact NorCal approach, frequency 125.1, have a good flight. Over to 25.1, so look at that traffic, 13 Foxtrot. Helicopter 3 Bravo Kilo, the departing Cessna is just off the departure on 2,000 indicated climbing northeast bound. Helicopter 63 Bravo Kilo, we got traffic inside. And a little more time, radian 31170, inbound official 25 right. Bravo 31170, a little more tower, the wind 280 at 8, runway 25 right, clear to land. Runway 25 right, we're clear to land, 170, thanks. A little bit of right pedal. 
Let's uh, turn right heading uh, zero nine five. Zero nine five six three Bravo Kilo. Now on a standard rate turn. Standard rate turn. Yeah. Fifteen. And right about to here. There you go. Oh, look at that. All right, so. Hey, Alligator 63 Bravo Kilo, descend and maintain uh, 2,500. Descend and maintain 2,500. Oops. Actually, let's wait until that airplane's gone because uh, he might be passing right behind us. All right, you still want 2,500? Uh, let's keep 3,000 for a minute. All right, so I'll keep 3,000 and then. Yeah, because he's going to. Okay, he's going to pass behind us, I think. Let's wait a little bit more. Yeah, let's go ahead and descend 2,500. All right, 2,500. So more than 100 feet, I think, was with collective. Yeah. And just a 500 per minute descent is perfect. All right, a little bit of right pedal. Nose up. Don't forget about our heading, too. Whoops. <laughs> this is the 03 Hotel. Traffic at two miles northeast of the airport, 2800 indicated eastbound helicopter. Man, he's all over us. Roger, we'll be looking for traffic at uh, 03 Hotel. Helicopter 3 Bravo Kilo, traffic 2 miles southwest, your position 1,800 indicated eastbound Cessna. Helicopter 63 Bravo Kilo is looking. Oh, there's our altitude. So to bring that collective back up. Yeah. Uh, traffic inside 03 Hotel. This is 03 Hotel, Roger. The only known traffic to the east, frequency change approved. Have a good day. Roger, frequency change approved, uh, 5203 Hotel. Helicopter 3, Bravo Kilo, say destination, traffic inbound, straight in Archer, 1-3 miles east of the airport. I got a 6-3 Bravo Kilo, we're just maneuvering out here, we're going to make our way to Byron eventually. If you want us to turn direct to Byron, we can do that now. Helicopter 3, Bravo Kilo, just remain north of the freeway, the Alpine Cessna has you in sight. Okay, we'll remain north of the freeway, 6-3 Bravo Kilo, thanks. All right, let's turn left heading, uh, 030. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Standard rate turn. Standard rate turn. Got to batter some pass. Yeah, yeah, probably. I can't see anything, but <laughs> I assume so. Yeah, that's a batter some pass. Look at a 63 Bravo Kilo has traffic behind it to our left of sight. All right. Look after 3 Bravo Kilo, Roger. Thank you. So there's zero, 03. Zero. And oop, climbing a bit, so. Cessna 1 Echo Zero, runway 25 left, clear for the option. Yeah, Wind right. 2706. Clear for the option on two left, uh, 25 left, 1 Echo Zero. Helicopter 3 Bravo Kilo, frequency change approved, have a good day. 63 Bravo Kilo, see ya. Malibu 170, turn left at taxiway golf, cross runway 25 left at golf. Taxi two South Hangers via Lima Kilo remain this frequency. Have a good day. Hello. Roger that. Let's turn on. Uh, okay, Cross runway two five left at Golf Lima Kilo two South Hangers on your frequency. And one seven zero. Have a great evening. Thanks a lot. You too. Two Celsius altimeter two niner eight three inches of mercury. Remark density altitude two one zero zero. Byron Airport, automated weather observation, zero, two, three, niner, Zulu. Wind, two, two, zero, at one, one, knot. Visibility, more than one, zero. All right. Okay, I'll go to 63 Bravo Kilo, descend and maintain 2,000. Descend and maintain 2,000, 63 Bravo Kilo. Yeah, remember our rule of three. So we're at about 22 inches, so about 19 and a 19 and change should get us 500 feet per minute at 90 knots. Might be a little much, but 500 is the minimum. So if we end up going a little more, that's okay. Byron traffic, White Skyhawk 70 Fox Road is taking a runway 23. Byron. Byron traffic, helicopter 63 Bravo Kilo is five miles to the south, descending at a 2,300, and we're going to do a touch and go 23 Byron. A little 
Augusta, you're over here. Alright, so start bringing in the power. I think he said 10% of our... Yeah, so we were at about a 500 foot minute descent. So about 50 feet early is when you want to start pulling power. Hey, uh, sports star, see uh, wind conditions, camera. I got a 63 Bravo Kilo, turn right hitting 045. 045, 63 Bravo Kilo. Byron traffic, Skyhawk 70 Fox, it is up wind, runway 23 Byron. Oh, it's breezy over here. Yeah, it's gonna get a little bit up here. Yes, sir, we did uh, inbound, we're coming in from uh, Mather, and uh, we're about 10 miles in Turkey, 50 bucks. Oh, one of the uh, spokes blew off of that one. That doesn't look like it sound good. <laughs> oh, badass. <laughs> uh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> what is going on out here? <laughs> Dude, it must have been so windy. <laughs> All right, Alligator 63 Bravo Kilo, uh, turn left heading 030 to send and maintain 1000. 030, uh, maintain 1000. Well, that's really disorienting work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, zero three zero, and let's reduce collective more. A little bit of right pedal. All right, there we go. Maybe a little bit nose forward, gain some speed. Fire and traffic, Alligator 63 Bravo Kilo is uh, three miles to the southeast, descending out of 1,800. Going to set up for a touch and go 2 3, Byron. And keep that heading in your scan there. A little bit right here. And the, uh, the trick is with your angle of bank, if you only need to change your heading by like five degrees, don't Bounty. roll into more than a five degree Bounty. bank. Yeah, okay. Basically, you don't want your angle of bank to be more than the number of degrees you have to change. Gotcha. Otherwise, you'll be chasing yourself all over the place. Oh, I got a 63 Bravo Kilo, left heading uh, 310. Left heading 310. All right, standard turn. Right about here. And put in that left pedal. Oh. Uh, step on the bar. Five. Right pedal. Right pedal. There yeah, you go. there's no pedal when we're turning, remember? Yeah. We only have to put in pedal when we make power changes or if the wind changes on us. All right, so now I'll start pulling collective here. And we're almost there. Good, all right, so nose up. Full power in. Uh, as you make that power change, watch what happened to our nose. We came up. Yeah. You to, as you raise collective, you have to also go a little bit forward cyclic to counteract that natural nose up tendency. Yeah. Okay, let's just send and maintain 400. 400. Alrighty. Alt. Oops, shit. <laughs> 400. Alrighty. Get back on course over here. Okay, let's go left heading 230. Left heading 230. Standard rate. A little too much there. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and if you need to take a break from spinning the dial or spinning the bug, yeah. Then you know, fly the helicopter first. Yeah. And a little bit more right pedal in there. A little bit of right pedal. Yeah. All right, my controls. All right, your controls. Got them. Fire traffic helicopter six two Bravo Kilo's final two three fire. All right. Your controls. Controls. You got them. Go ahead and bring us down, we'll do a little low approach, maybe come to a hover if we can. Alright, put it right up to good. Alright, lights are out, gauges are green. Man, it's a whole new world out here. <laughs> yeah. 
If you want, I can show you a little trick to camera park to lose a bunch of altitude here. Right, left base three one camera. Almost kind of do a little quick stop, and you're just really watching your uh, tack as you do this. Uh huh. Lose a bunch of airspeed up here. Come back to like 30, 40 knots. Then just leave your power nice and low, and nose forward. And now we still have ETL. Yeah. But you can watch our VSI is going to go wild. This will get you super steep approach where you won't settle with power. And then just slowly start bringing it in. Yeah, down at the bottom here, you can almost kind of do like a really mini gentle flare. You kind of start a little bit aft and start pulling power. Yeah. There you go. All right. That's the little trick to, if you're going to way overshoot a spot, just bleed off your airspeed, let it go down. Just don't, uh, don't go lower than 30 knots. Yep. Yeah, right. Lights, gauges, fuel, whenever you're ready. You want to make the call, we're sure. just uh, straight out 2-3. Fire and traffic, helicopter 6-3, Bravo Kilo, straight out 2-3. 6-3, uh, Bravo Kilo, fire. <laughs> What's your power see? there? Oh yeah, we're a little high there. Alright, so there we go, 55. All right, a little bit more speed here. Hey, let's go, uh, let's turn left heading. Uh, you want me to get the foggles back on? Now let's just turn left heading one, two, two, zero. Two, two, five, turning final that'll get you under. Three, one. All right. And this doesn't have to be standard, right? This can just be, get their speed. Cool. Fire traffic, I'll go to 6-3, Bravo Kilos, uh, left cross on departure 2-3, climbing through 500 feet, departing the area towards southeast, Byron. Alright, 1-2-0. Okay, my controls. Your controls. I got them. Alrighty. Yeah, your controls. I have the controls. Got it. All right, so I'll punch in one two zero on our thing and uh, climb and maintain one thousand five hundred. All right, one thousand five hundred. We're gonna do a little bit of maneuvering out this way. One thousand five hundred. We have some room to kind of play around here. Let me know if you guys get cold in the back. I got the AC on. Cherokee eight four three eight Echo eight miles. To the south southwest, inbound landing, runway 31, camera plus. Something tells me you got heels to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth would you think that? <laughs> Helicopter 63, Bravo Kilo, turn, uh, let's do turn right heading 0, 09 or 0. Right heading oh, 0, 09 or 0. Might as well have gone the other way. 0, <laughs> I made it hard on myself. 0, 09 or 0. All right, right, here we go. And I want a standard rate turn. When we level off at 1,500, I want to come right back to 90 knots. All right. So standard rate turn. Camera park traffic, Cherokee 38 Echo, six miles to the southwest, flying towards Bass Lake, passing through 4,400. Inbound landing runway 31, we'll be entering the 45 for left downwind for runway 31. Don't want to descend. So when you're, yeah, when you're going to gain airspeed again, if you notice your altimeter start coming down or your VSI showing a descent, we know that we've either gone too far forward or we don't have enough power in. And so once you get a little more comfortable flying instruments, you'll be able to tell, you know, you'll look at your manifold pressure and say, oh, I don't have enough power in, or oh, I've got enough power and I must have gone too far forward. Yeah. And you can make your adjustments. Oh, that's a little bumpy. All right, we got a little descent there, so a little bit aft. standard there. Let's fix that. Alright, we got a bit of a climb. 
So we might go back over Livermore because they were they had a lot less bumpy turbulence over there. Still turning. Yeah, that was gonna be a long one. At standard rate, a 360 degree turn takes two minutes, and this was like a 330 degree turn, so it'd be a long one. All right, and then there it is. Zero nine zero. Camera park traffic, Cherokee 3 Echo, one mile west of Bath. Look at the 6 Kilo, climbing, taking 2,500 turn, left heading 240, 2,500, and heading 3-0. I think I won 210, 2-1, and that's a left turn this time. 2-1, 0. Left turn. It will go 500 feet per minute. The huge. All right. Kind of aft a little bit so we can. That's your traffic. Sky Hawk 6 Delta Mike, right downwind 2 0. right yeah that means you're within 200 feet of your bugged altitude okay and that's whether you're going towards it or away from it it'll tell you so it's kind of a nice little warning to say hey you're getting close to your altitude or to say hey you're getting a little far from your altitude yeah all right so now that we're coming up I'll go nose forward and start to convert that climb into speed And only go so far forward that your VSI shows zero and your altimeter doesn't show any kind of climb or descent. Yeah. Like you did there. I've got our 63 Bravo Kilo climb maintain 3000 left heading 180. All right, 3000 left heading 180. So when you roll into a turn and a climb or descent, usually it's easiest to start the climb or descent first. But you know, if it turns out for you that turning is easiest, then do that. All right. Oh, they have all kinds of corpses of the uh, windmills down there. <laughs> Man, they send all this stuff while I can't see. <laughs> yeah, this is always when the interesting stuff happens yeah. is when you're under the foggles. Oh my god, you see all those topless chicks? Yeah. <laughs> Livermore Tower. They're giving away the winning lottery numbers. Seven miles northwest with information Zulu.
Aircraft call in Livermore Tower, say again. Livermore Tower, 80912, 7 miles north of west, with information to Zulu. Cessna, November 80912, Livermore Tower, say type aircraft, ident, and say intentions. Cessna 172, slant uniform. Intentions, we want to do one landing, taxi back and back to Hayward, 80912. Cessna 912, roger, make right traffic, runway 25 right, report one mile right 45, say altitude. Right traffic 25 right, one out 45. All right, let's make uh, a right 360 back to this heading. Feet, let's wait till that says 34 minutes. Okay. And I want to see if we can get two minutes on the nose to come back to our heading of 180. All right. That's the 9012 IDENT. Pull a little bit of power so we can try to get to close to 90. And, uh, stop our set there. And okay, one. Time. That's 912, thank you. There we go. Livermore traffic, Livermore Tower, 0512 Alpha Mike, uh, three miles uh, east, uh, landing with information Zulu. The aircraft three miles east, Livermore Airport, take in. This is 512 Alpha Mike, land G, landing with information Zulu, three miles uh, east, Livermore. 512 Alpha Mike, Livermore Tower, say altitude, are you northeast of the airport, 2200? Right. 2 Alpha Mike. Cheers, 2 Alpha Mike, make straight in runway 25 right, report a three mile final. Straight in, straight in, two, five, right, uh, report, short, final, two, off mic. So, serious, two, off of mic, same intentions. Landing, land two, <coughs> sorry, student pilot, landing once, uh, then return to the <laughs> pilot altitude. Student pilot. Serious, two, off of mic, roger, did you want the option and depart, or did you want a full stop, taxi back, and then depart? Option for runway two, five, right, two, off mic. Serious, two, off of mic, I dent, runway two, five, right. Clear for the option. Wind to 270 at 8. Following your option, Man, left long -term. crosswind departure yeah. proof. And so coming, coming directly 180 so degrees past where we were, right. we can tell we've been a little uh, bit slow because it's been departure. more than a minute. 180 degree turn should be about one minute. So on this last half, let's focus on keeping as close to 15 degree bank as we can. Uh, Liver, Liverboard right. Tower, Comanche 5366 pop, ready for takeoff, 25 right, uh, right and wind departure please. Comanche 5366 pop, a little more tower, traffic 2 mile right base, Cirrus, wind 270 at 9er, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, right down one departure approved, no delay. 66 pop, taking off, don't see the traffic, but that's alright. Cirrus 2 Alpha Mike, a traffic <laughs> departing traffic. prior that's to arrival right. of Comanche. I like how he just made that decision that it's alright. <laughs> yeah. Roger yourself, Mike. I don't need no, to see any air there. Here. on base now. Thank you. All right, coming a little aft here. Dropping a little bit. Bring it back up. Here is 512 Alpha Mike turning final. Runway 25 right. All right, 180. Yeah, we're about 30 seconds over our time, a little, almost 30 seconds over, so a little bit faster, uh, and that's just going to be west, from keeping a uh, uh, consistent bank angle, uh, yeah. uh, which is not something that you have to be perfect at, especially at an hour two. Left traffic. Uh, it's something that will come with time, but the tower uh, we'll, uh, we'll practice that a little bit more as we continue our answering train. Left traffic, set alpha, report a beam to the tower, left downwind. Three Bravo Kilo, climb maintain 3,500. Traffic on right crosswind. Comanche is departing northeast bound. Follow a Cirrus short final, runway 25 right. Clear to land, wind 280 at 10. Clear to land, 25 right, number 280912. Remember, keep an eye on that attitude indicator. We really only want to get what we need yeah. to do. I went a little aggressive there. Are we yeah. heading back? Uh, we're going to start making our way back that direction, yeah. Are you okay back there? Yeah. Just a 738 Victor Alpha, Livermore Tower, Ida. Yeah, take Victor Alpha.
Seven more towers here, five one two Alpha Mike, exiting runway two five right. We'll make this a uh, full stop and uh, taxi back, please. Oh, so yeah, one more tower formation Alpha now. Current wind two eight zero one zero. I'll two minutes two nine eight. Seven eight Victor Alpha Ident. Heavy five Ident. Cirrus two Alpha Mike via Alpha taxi two hold short. Okay, six three Bravo Kilo turn right in two four zero two four zero six three Bravo Kilo. Taxi back, uh, Alpha, yeah, right. 25 right, Tiff Mike. Cheers, 2 Alpha Mike, hold short of taxiway, Charlie, remain on Alpha, hold short of taxiway, Charlie. R Roger, remain, hold short, uh, taxiway, Charlie, 2 Alpha Mike. Charlie, Romeo, left downway, and pad Alpha. Helicopter 4, Charlie, Romeo, pad Alpha, clear to land, wind 270 at 10. Land, pad Alpha. Four Charlie, Romeo. Pick up four. We got a 6-3 Bravo Kilo turn left heading uh, 180 again. Uh, left heading 180. <laughs> She's bored back there? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not. The instrument stuff is not particularly exciting for observers usually. Airport information Alpha 0248 Zulu, wind 270 at Niner. Sure, 2 Alpha Mike, zero. continue taxi, regulation clear right. Temperature 21, D.14. Right. Altimeter 2988. Visual approach in use, arriving and departing runways 28. Potential oh. aircraft hazardous <laughs> weather information available on high water. Our initial contact advise you of Alpha. Alpha. Down one runway 25 right, clear for the option, make right close traffic. Wind 270 at 6. That'll help us descend and get our altitude back. A little more tower, Comanche 66 Papa, vicinity Brushy Peak, frequency change. Comanche 66 Papa, frequency change approved every day. 66 Papa. I got a 63 Bravo Kilo, turn right heading 210, descend and maintain 2500. 210, 2500, 2, 63 Bravo Kilo. 2500. Set 5203 Hotel, Livermore Tower, Squawk 1200, make straight in runway 25 right, report a four mile final. Bring it. Squawk BFR, make straight in for runway 25 left, uh, four mile final, flight to the hotel. Set 8 Victor Alpha, change to runway 25 left, runway 25 left, clear for the option, make left close, traffic wind 27010. Change to runway 25 left, left close, traffic on the go, 8 Victor Alpha. Set the 03 Hotel, make straight in runway 25 right, report a 4 mile final. Straight in for 25 right, report 4 mile final, 523 uh, Hotel. I got a 63 Bravo Kilo, turn right hitting 225. 225. 63 Bravo Kilo. Zero, so two Alpha Mike, move up, hold shorter runway two five right. Two two five, that's right. I'll say two three five. Two five right, Alpha Mike. And let's bring the collective down a little bit. Nose forward. Helicopter forty four Charlie Romeo requesting collision from Harbor Ward between Pad Alpha and the Compass Road. Helicopter four Charlie Romeo. I got a six three Bravo Kilo turn right heading two seven zero two seven. 
Cessna Zero. Niner 1 2, uh, remain this frequency, turn right, taxi to a golf, run right 25 right, taxi via Alpha. Taxi 25 right via Alpha and right on golf with you, it's there now, one, two. Good in. Can't fix it on one. Yep. And when you get close to it, like a heading, like if you do your scan and you look at there and you say, okay, I'm 10 degrees off. Sure, I said two instead of doing like a full wind, circle or whatever you would do, zero, maybe you could just go zero, like one, two, and, turn, turn, and then look. Right, and then one, two, right, two right, look. One, one, two, one, look. Two, one, two, right, look. Uh, until you get there so that you don't overshoot. So you can modify your scan as necessary to pick up whatever instrument is. Requiring your attention. Uh, right, uh, zero three hotel. We'll like to request both traffic is able. Cessna zero three hotel. We got a six three Bravo Kilo. Make a left three sixty. We'll go in that. That's forty four minutes. Traffic going two eight zero four. All right, left three sixty. Clear for the option for runway two five right. Uh, right to the right. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Right there, right in the middle of those two lines. Just kind of have to a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of collective here. I remember watching that attitude indicator. That's going to tell us right away when something's off. Yeah. Okay, hold it right there. Oh, we got to climb here. Let's fix that. Maybe a little bit nose forward. Collective yeah. down. Anytime you're raising or lowering collective, keep an eye on this guy too. Manifold pressure. Yep. Just so that you have some kind of idea of what's going on. That'll serve you well when you start uh, flying big helicopters with turbines and stuff. If you watch your RPM and your power gauges as you raise and lower collective, that'll give you a really good idea of how much power you have left. And whether you think you're gonna be able to get out of a spot. A little bit. Cheers, two up a mic. Do you have the uh, Cessna off your left in sight? Roger, two up a mic. Cheers, two up a mic. That aircraft is in the left pattern. Remain outside that aircraft. Your left crosswind departure is approved. Thank you, left crosswind approved. Okay, this one's uh, a little bit fast. Or, yeah. eight, Victor Alpha. No, I'm actually Runway going slower, right? Left, so. Clear for the yeah, so wind, let's, let's make sure we get our 90 knots at 2500 if uh, we can. Runway 25 left, clear for the option. Start to go a little off. And our rates. Nice and comfortable speed. i bring that back up. Well, we had the airspeed, right? We had the airspeed and the altitude, so instead of bringing our nose up, it might be a little more beneficial to us. Okay, only 16 seconds short. Uh, so it might have been a little more beneficial to us to just raise the, the collective a little bit. Yeah. Now we're scanning. We know our altimeter's showing a descent. Yeah. And our airspeed's where we want it, so maybe a little bit more power. We know we were cruising right around 23 uh, inches was giving us straight level. So there's our power setting. Let's see if we can maintain uh, 90 knots at that power setting. And let's turn left heading in 250. All right, 250. Paul has the, uh, the little phrase that goes, power setting, attitude, what's next? Yep. <laughs> and it's funny because he's not a double I, but that works really, really well for instance. Traffic yeah. over Sunol intersection just north of San Antonio Reservoir, 2,600 indicated orbiting type unknown. Air traffic, so, Mike. There we go. A little more tire, I'll get a 6-3 Bravo Kilo, we're your traffic over uh, Sunil intersection. We're going to continue out to the southwest here, and we're going to remain below 3,000 just for your information. Helicopter 3 Bravo Kilo, roger, thanks for the call. Live more off the mirrors, 2986. Traffic 4 miles southwest to the airport over the 680 freeway southwestbound, Cirrus. I'll get a 6-3 Bravo Kilo, thank you, we'll be looking. All right, I'll get a 6-3 Bravo Kilo, turn left heading 220, descend and maintain 2,000. 220, descend to 2,000. Bravo Keto. Yeah, so let's go down to 20 inches. Right there, perfect. Now we have our 90 knots. 500 foot per minute descent's coming in. There's our heading. There was our heading. All right, let's bring it back over here. And come aft a little bit. All right. Keep our airspeed up. 
Move forward. There you go. Okay, so when we get to, we're at 500 feet per minute, that's perfect. When we get 2,050 feet, then we'll start raising our collective back to 23 inches. And if we use our cyclic to maintain just about this attitude, that's going to be the airspeed we want. Then we should be able to level off nice and comfortably. Livermore, Phenom 631 Alpha Delta, ILS 25 right. Phenom 631 Alpha Delta, Livermore Tower, runway 25 right, continue. That's right, continue for one Alpha Delta. Should get rid of our climb, and we should be able to get our nine one two two five right Bravo straight out departure. Okay, the nine one two straight out departure approved wind three zero zero at eight forward. runway two five right clear for takeoff. Okay, I'll get to six three Bravo Kilo to send and maintain one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred six three Bravo Kilo. Do a little bit of we'll do a little bit more uh, orbiting over uh, Coyote Hills area, then we'll be just about time on gas. Remember, keep the top of that guy in your scan. That'll help with your uh this kind of oscillation when we get back and forth of going past our heading each direction. All right, so start bringing that collective back in. Remember, as you raise, we have to go, it's even a little bit of left and a little bit of forward cyclic, because we can talk about it on the ground if you want, but there's a lot of aerodynamic stuff that starts happening when you start raising collective, and we have to account for that with the cyclic. So let's go ahead and descend and maintain 1,000. Descend and maintain 1,000. Oops. About 19 inches there. Come aft a little bit, slow down. Got 500. There we go, that's a nice. See, look how comfortable the helicopter is right here. Is it comfortable, nice. guys, back there? Yep. Are you still awake? <laughs> Finish your sandwich. <laughs> Sit away. Sit away, slip. <laughs> <laughs> How's the wine? She's not feeling good. Uh, are you feeling uh, Are you feeling sick back there? Uh, I I feel like motion sickness. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm okay though. Yeah, you're better now. Okay. We won't spend too much more time out here. So let's make a uh, right 360 back to here, and we'll go when that says 52 minutes. Oh, okay. Yep. Just so we have a nice, easy number to look for. Yeah. So if you start getting motion sick, it's best to, here we can even open some vents for you. Uh, I have it open. You have yours open? Yeah. Uh, and then just pick something outside, like, you know, a building or I'm something trying, like that. I'm trying, but yeah. you guys just keep turning. <laughs> Okay, look. we'll head back then, if you're not feeling well. But look. that's fine, I'm, I'm okay. Look Are you up sure? For, look up for an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look down. Oh, I missed the time. Uh, that's right, we can go at whatever, whatever time you want, really. Uh, do 52.30. Yeah, so we'll do this one more 360 and then we'll start heading back. Keep our passengers happy. <laughs> All right, 52, and here we go. Scanning, making little corrections as necessary.
and the VSI seems like it lags, huh? Um, it takes a little bit for it to respond. Uh, on the ridge test, though, they, they want you to think that it's like an immediate response whenever you change altitude, but, you know, it's a trend instrument. It has to sense a change in pressure, and it has to compare that to previous pressure in order to do anything. So it's, it's not going to be an immediate change. So I, I kind of disagree with the written test on that. A little too strong there. That is forward. This feels like a much better turn. Oh, don't lose it now. <laughs> yeah, come on, curse me. <laughs> All right. That is for that airspeed back. And there we go. 220. Boom, look at that. 5430. All righty. All right, let's turn uh, right heading of 310. All right. Three. Bravo Kilo is about three miles south of Niles Canyon at 1,100 inbound for Meridian with Alpha. 6-3 Bravo Kilo here with Tower Roger. Make straight in for taxiway Alpha. Correction straight in for taxiway Zulu. That'd be Meridian. What a three mile final. I got a 6-3 Bravo Kilo report. Uh, was it two or three miles straight in for 6-3 Bravo Kilo? 3 Bravo Kilo report a three mile final. Three. We'll report three mile final, 6-3 Bravo Kilo. Holding short of 28 right at Bravo, ready for a right downwind departure. Justin 6033 here, Hayward Tower, right downwind departure is approved, runway 28 right, clear for takeoff. Let's turn runway right, right heading right, 330. 0912 Hayward Tower, I didn't observe the altitude in case 2500. Make straight in, runway 28 left, report a three mile final. Straight in, 28 left, report three out. 80912. Bravo Kilo, turn left heading at 315. 315, left heading, 63 Bravo Kilo. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the tapes on that one, man. This thing hurts my head, man. I got a big old head. The foggles? Yeah. Yeah. With the glasses, too. Ouch. Almost there, I think. Six miles. A little bit apt here. Yeah, I think you're kind of starting to get the hang of like the little corrections and 
scans coming together a little bit more. Six zero three three CR, are you just going out on a local flight? Three three CR, yeah, we're heading to Reed Hillview. And three three CR, I'll just be advised to do that traffic is on about five miles east southeast of the field of the helicopter at one thousand. Additional traffic's about uh, nine miles east of the field, two thousand five hundred seconds. Looking for traffic, three three Sierra. Roger, I'll keep you updated for traffic. Uh, say again, 330? 330, I'll keep you updated for traffic. I'll advise you as you're getting a little bit closer. Helicopter 3, Bravo Kilo, traffic a mile northeast of the field on a right down departure for Reed Hillview. Cessna altitude indicates 1,100. Helicopter 6, 3, Bravo Kilo, we're looking. Cessna 80912, traffic just northeast of the field on the right down departure for Reed Hillview. This is Cessna Skyhawk, altitude in case 1,300. Oh, we'll look for that, 80912. I got a 63 Bravo Kilo, turn left heading 275. Helicopter traffic, 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 miles, opposite direction, 1,100 indicated. Looking for traffic, 330. Actually, let's go uh, this heading right here, 300. Zero zero. Sorry. I'm just trying to vector us in a little bit. Sure. I got a 63 Bravo Kilo, got the downwind traffic in sight. 63 Bravo Kilo, Roger, thank you. Listen, 333, hey, helicopter traffic is ahead about 1 o'clock, 2 miles now, 1,100, they have you in sight. 63 Bravo Kilo. Traffic in sight, 33 Sierra. inches to get our 90 knots and a 500 foot point of descent. You see now we, we got our 500 feet but we've also got 12 knots less airspeed. Yeah. So if we bring that collective back up that should get us what we want. Uh, that sounds kind of counterintuitive you want to raise collective while you're descending but yeah that's kind of what we're going forward. for here. There we go 700. Raise that collective up. This is the three three here. The Cessna traffic is twelve to one o'clock, four and a half miles, opposite direction, one thousand eight hundred. Looking for traffic three three Sierra. Yeah, my control. Three three Sierra. Are you gonna be following the road off to your left hand side? Oh God. Yes, we are. Three three Sierra. Ah, it hurts. Three three Sierra. Your control. My controls. You got them. All right, where are we? Uh, here we are. We're gonna six three Bravo Kilo. Sorry about that. We're two mile final for Zulu. Three three Bravo Kilo, not a problem. Wind two eight zero at eight. Taxiway Zulu a beam Meridian clear to land. Zulu beam Meridian clear to land. Six three Bravo Kilo, thank you. Grab the call in three miles. Cessna nine one two traffic one o'clock and three right, and a half miles the, off uh, the Zulu direction. Yep. One thousand four hundred okay. indicated Cessna. They're following Mission Boulevard towards Reed Hill. Uh, nice sunset. Uh, uh, I'm still looking. It sure was. Oh, yeah, inside now. Eight zero nine one two. You're welcome. Yeah. Cessna nine one two, thank you. Cessna 33 Sierra, the Cessna traffic is now about 1 o'clock and uh, 3 oh, we'll keep miles. 400 until we get to our normal approach angle. 1 o'clock, 3 miles, opposite direction of 1,000 to have you in sight. And we can jump a little bit more to the right just Camera so we're not traffic. flying over the corner of these trailer parks. Apparently, those are like the. I think I told you this. They, they yeah. will complain about anything. They don't like us. Yeah. But uh, helicopters are loud, I get it. <laughs> Alright, whenever we get that normal approach angle, we'll go ahead and start our descent. Coming in steep, so I'll do 15 now and just kind of walk us in. Right into the sun. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Sunglasses Captain are Captain are Captain like a requirement. Captain Captain thanks, frequency change approved. Have a good night. We can do our little trick Captain if you want to. Thanks for the traffic. Laid off some airspeed and come down real steep. All right, so right about to here. Yeah, and then just leave that power right where it's at. And then just keep an eye on here, because um, I guess I think I said this before. It is possible to split the needles if you go really low on the power. Yeah, you get a rock and descent rate. All right, so all right, clear to the left. Tail's clear to the right. All right. Pedal in. All right. I 
guess closer to the hangar this time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the Hawk on top of the... Uh... I like how they don't even bother coming out to marshal us anymore. Like, they know where to park. Yeah. Maybe we should pull a lot of power. Yeah. Yeah, dude, welcome to uh, commercial flying. <laughs> Pulling a whole bunch of power. <laughs> Get there. We can go like halfway from here to the hangar, it's probably good. And then just watch our manifold pressure as we do our right pedal turn, you'll see it come down. And then when you go to stop, you'll see it spike again. Although this is a pretty good coordinated turn here, it's nice and slow, so that probably won't spike too much. All right, let's come to a nice hover and slowly bring it down. Yeah, we don't want that backwards movement though. Yeah. <laughs> kind of stopping that backward okay. movement with a little bit of forward cycling. There we go. All right. All right, so I'll bring down. this guy center. It'll stop shaking so much. 75? Yeah. Oh, no, uh, 65, sorry. 65. Yeah. And that's because this guy doesn't have the yellow arc here. Yeah. All right. So it'll slowly kind of come to 65, right? Uh, no, that's kind of where it's going to settle. So now to start our timer, we're going to go PFD. All right, uh, PFD. Clock timer, Clock and then time. reset. Reset. There it is. All right, cool. So two minutes. Oh, uh, yeah. Just Let's get rid of these things. <laughs> All right, excellent. So friction and friction, good. So we're just waiting for two minutes. There's a little... Uh, 912, no need to report. Get a little case for the thing over there. Uh, yeah, here it is. Oh. All right. So now we can start turning off everything we don't need. All right. So it's already. I kind of got some of it off, but uh, we can turn off the uh, nav lights and the landing lights. Lights, landing lights. And I already turned the radios off because I was tired of hearing all that chatter in the background while we're trying to shut down. All right. A little bit warm. Ah. And this guy's flashing because we turned everything off and it's saying, I don't have communication with anybody. <laughs> Is this world? <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. living in my little bubble. <laughs> yeah, it, it's really weird, and especially if you ever go out and fly actual IFR. You take off, you go through the clouds, and you're in the clouds the whole way, and then you come out and you're somewhere else entirely. Man. And you know exactly where you are, it just doesn't feel like you should be there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Roll, click, 30 seconds, boom, big shot. I know one thing. What do you Disengage know? Disengage the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It went flying and uh, forgot to, well, I had to turn it off to get Justin to figure out what was wrong. It was on pilot ISO, the radio. Oh. Uh, so he came out and he was like, no, oh, he left the clutch on when you turned it off to get me, so I had to yeah. call him again. All right, 30 seconds. Especially like 
the lights and stuff. You don't need the nav lights to be on either one of them. Yeah, it's like Much more.